Go on. It's good news, Your Majesty. The message reads, Expand east into the lands rich in spices. Yes, yes, expand east. Expand east? Are you... are you sure? Positive, sire. If this is trickery to collect the reward, you'll be fed to the lions. <clears throat> sire, uh, we would never deceive you, oh great king. How do I know what you say is true? A Judean once advised King Nebuchadnezzar as a dream interpreter. I believe his name was Daniel. Oh, bring him to me at once. How can I be of service, sire? My wise men tell me the writing on the wall says we should expand east. Do you agree? I believe the message is a warning, sire. Your father was a mighty king, but God took away his kingdom because he was also cruel and arrogant. The same fate awaits you if you do not change your ways, sire. The message reads, Many, many tekel ufarsin. It means the days of your regime are numbered. Babylon will be taken and divided between the Medes and Persians. Now that we know an attack is coming, we can prepare the army and defend Babylon against our enemies. Yes, your wisdom has saved us, Daniel. Even the mightiest army cannot alter God's will, sire. <laughs> We shall see, old man. But don't worry. You will be well rewarded for your services. I have no need for a reward, sire. But you... You deceived me to collect a reward that you clearly didn't deserve. But, your majesty, I was... Uh... Now you receive the reward you truly deserve. Gods! Feed this man to the lions! But you can't! Please! I beg you! Is the lion's den a necessary punishment, sire? It's rather cruel, don't you think? I must make an example of that wise man for deceiving me. Besides, fear of the lion's den keeps my people in line. But there's still wickedness in Babylon, sire. What do you suggest, then? Uh, perhaps the problem is that your people worship earthly possessions over God in heaven. You speak so highly of your god, Daniel. But where was he when you were torn from your homeland and brought here? Where was he then? I beg you! Bring him forward. It is time. No, please, I beg you. No!
sword and shield. predicted, Belshazzar's kingdom was conquered and a Mead named Darius assumed the throne. Is this him? Yes, my lord Darius. This is King Belshazzar. I am king of the Babylonians! Unhand me! Surrender or die. Never. Very well, kill him. And here ends Babylonian rule. We planned a surprise attack, and yet you were prepared. We were warned. Am I a traitor in my ranks? No, it was a Judean named Daniel. You knew we were planning to attack? It was God who warned us. <laughs> God? Perhaps if I show you. Oh. And Daniel was the only one able to interpret this sign? Daniel, you can be of use to me. Uh, how, my lord? As one of my administrators. <laughs> but my lord, he's not one of us. It's clear you're a man of wisdom and vision, Daniel. You three will supervise the 120 governors I've assembled to rule over Babylon. I expect order and honesty from my servants, Daniel. A well-run regime is a powerful... Re